Um, I think, and I, I, I don't uh, uh, have this idea from myself, but that human beings before the sin were very powerful, very powerful and intelligent beings. Yeah? Our ancestor, uh, Adam and Eve, were highly intelligent. They were very good. Yeah, they were very, very smart. They had an IQ of, I don't know, how, how high. Yeah? They were very smart, very, very intelligent, uh, uh, beautiful, uh, uh, perfect people. I mean, they can... God doesn't make uh, rotten things, so they must be very perfect in, in, their, in their state of being at that moment. Yeah. Things became different after the sin, yeah, after they eat from the tree. Yeah. So but from the beginning on, uh, uh, human beings were perfect, were, were absolutely perfect, absolutely powerful, also powerful human beings. Innocent, not knowing the, 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 the all, all bad things, that's what we learn now. But at the beginning they were beautiful, intelligent, powerful, and so on and so on. And huge. I think that the, uh, the first human beings were, were giants compared to us. I mean, maybe t twice, maybe th three times as big as we are. Yeah? Uh, skeletons have been found of giants. Yeah? And the Bible mentions also in, in, in chapter 6, uh, Genesis 6, that there were giants in the earth of the, in those days. And skeletons have been found. But you are not shown those uh, those pictures and those those skeletons of big human beings because it goes in against the uh, 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 worldwide evolution uh, religion. Yeah, they don't show it to you because it goes against the evolution theory. Yeah, people hold it back from you. Uh, they don't tell you this that kind of stuff. But the Bible mentioned that there were giants in the earth uh, uh, in those days, before Noah, uh, uh, in the time of Noah, and before, and also after Noah, there were giants. Uh, and skeletons have been found. Yeah. Big, big skeletons of uh, people uh, two, two times, three times bigger than we are. Yeah. They have been found. Uh, you can you can find uh, information about this uh, at at uh, uh, um, Oop Arts. Uh, if if you Google Oop Arts, uh, O O P Arts, R A A A A A A R R T S, Oop Arts, out of place artifacts. It comes from Oop Arts. If you look it up uh, and you Google there somewhere, then you you meet a, a site and and. Uh, there will be uh, 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 skeletons, they show you some photos, pictures of skeletons uh, which are bigger than ours. Yeah. Many skeletons have been found that are bigger than, than ours, uh, twice, maybe three times as big. People from about four meters or uh, in, in foot, it's uh, 12 foot or something. <coughs> oh yeah, I have to write, uh, yeah, I have to do it in inches and foot because that's in, in English speaking countries that's more applicable. Okay. Well, animals were a lot bigger than uh, uh, right now. I mean, there have been found fossils of, of uh, uh, dragonflies, which, which were about one and a half meters uh, span, yeah? and insects uh, um, like like uh, grasshoppers, <laughs> this big, man, or maybe bigger, yeah? uh, uh, cockroaches, uh, fossils of cockroaches, this big. Uh, you don't want to meet them in your household, <laughs> you know, and things like that. There are spiders like this. I mean, uh, uh, no kidding. Fossils have been found from spiders this big. You know? Well, in, in those days, every like we read a moment ago, every uh, 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 animal ate uh, vegetarian. Was vegetarian. Everybody was vegetarian. Even the, even the lions and so on. Yes, they were eating vegetables. So. No, no, no harm was done to, to uh, among each other as that were ca that came after the flood. Okay, um, okay. God created man in His own image. In the image of God created He him. Male and female created He them. Yeah. So in God, God has the uh, the the the. Uh, the uh, um, the features of male and female in himself. God knows how to be, uh, know what it is to be a, a woman. He, he, he knows. He, 
He created us, yeah. So he also know about a feminine and also masculine uh, 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 features, yeah. It it is all in him, yeah. Because we got it from him, yeah. And he made us in his image. Uh, he he has got. Uh, he prefers to 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 show himself as a male, and it has got all to do with authority positions, yeah. God as the head of everything, yeah. And then we people come. That's why uh, uh, we, uh, as Christians, are regarded as the bride, female, of God, male. Yeah, has got all to do with authority positions. Yeah, <clears throat> that's why God prefers to present Himself as a man. Yeah, but He knows female. Uh, some some people say, well, I think that God is a, a woman. Uh, no, sorry, He can present Himself as a woman. That's another thing. But he's not a woman. He presents himself, preferably, as a man. Yeah? And uh, in, in a uh, marriage, the man has got the authority position. Yeah? And, um, but he's got, he's got the end responsibility. If the, woman makes a, uh, if, if, the, if the woman makes a mistake, she's not the first one to blame from God's perspective. No, the man is to blame. Hey, why are you not calling your wife back from what she's doing wrong? So the man has got the end responsibility over his family. Yeah, just like Jesus has got the end responsibility over us, his 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 family, uh, his his wife. Actually, we as as Christians, the, the the grouping of our Christians, we are considered as wife for Jesus. Yes. Whether we men or female, that doesn't matter. But the whole community of Christians is regarded as a female. For Christ, the man. Christ and God are one and the same. <clears throat> yeah. But Christ has the end responsibility over us to correct us. And he does. Yeah, he corrects me. If I make a mistake, he corrects me. That, that, that's the same thing I have towards my, uh, my woman. If I'm married, I'm not at this moment. Um, so, uh, um, but if I, I was married, I have the end responsibility over my woman, of my wife, and over my children. That's why the man has got the end responsibility, and he's the head of the family. Yeah? And he has got to correct his family. And if he makes mistakes, he's the first, or if his wife or if his kids are making mistakes, he's the first one to answer to God. Now, hey, Edgar. What are you doing uh, with your wife? Correct her. Yeah. I would be called to to uh, to to answer to God. Hey, Edgar, what was going on here? This is not good. And you should correct your wife, and you should correct your uh, uh, children. Yeah. So, I, from my family, I'm the one to uh, as an in-between person, person between God and my family. Yeah. If I correct my wife and she doesn't listen, okay. Then I did my best, and then she's responsible. The same goes for my children. Yeah. Some people, yeah, that's old-fashioned. No, it's not. It's common sense. Yeah. It's what the Bible says. It's what the Bible teaches, and it's common sense. Yeah. But nowadays, people have uh, f forgot it. They want to forget. No, I'm I'm a free person, and I do what I like to want. Yeah. But you go against God's word. Yeah, but many people don't recognize that. Yeah, think it over. Um, so if, if you are a woman and you go against your man and you say, well, I want to, to do my own thing, then you create a problem for your own husband. Take care of that. Because you're bringing your, uh, your family in, 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 uh, in problems from God's perspective. Yeah? So... Be humble to your man and listen. If he makes mistakes, that's his, that's his response. You can correct him, you can say it, and you can pray for your husband. But he is the end responsibility. He has got the end responsibility for your family, if you're a woman. Yeah, and take that position. I mean, your husband has got to take very good care of you. If I am married, I have to be... I have to be... Uh, uh, um, uh, how do you say? 